Slim, why are you posting that and ruining the surprise? Shut up, you fucking snitch. What fight on 3 r 3 are you most 303 you most hyped for? MVP and Gary. Yuri versus Pereira. Chat, shall I um shall I claim it right now in member stream before anywhere else? Should I claim it right now, chat in members stream before anywhere else? Chat, I've been watching the fight. Yuri gonna beat that dude's ass, dude. <clears throat> Yuri gonna beat his ass, dude. I'm starting to feel like Yuri's going to beat his ass, brother. Beat his ass. I've got a real feeling about it, dude. A real feeling. So we'll see. I don't know. You know when you can't shake the feeling? You know one of them ones, chat. When you know you should pick Pereira, but sometimes there's just that feeling of like, dude, I don't know, dude. I kind of have to. I should pick Yuri. I feel like Yuri's got it, man. I was watching the first fight back and I was like, dude, Yuri can adjust and he was doing very well. I know he got torn apart his leg, but it's not like he was limping around. Yuri was doing very well against Pereira. And I think if he goes out there with less of a, it's UFC 300. No, not UFC 300. It's the, the bad Chad on Chad. If he goes out there with more of the style of, I need to win, I think he can win. I think he could maybe win. Yuri's best chance was the first fight. I disagree. I absolutely disagree. You want to know why? Yuri'd been out for ages. People don't talk about that enough, chat. Pereira was fresh off of beating Jan Blahovic and barely taking any damage. Yuri, before that fight, was coming off of the worst injury that we've maybe ever seen, shoulder injury. They were always talking about it's the worst shoulder injury we've ever seen. And he was coming back after... How long off? A year and five months? That's not Yuri's way, dude. That's not the Yuri. Yuri likes activity. Yuri likes momentum. That's what Yuri likes. Just finish a fight. Let's get back in there. That's Yuri. I don't know if he had staff. I'm not sure. But I, what I do know is he'd been out for a year and five months. You know what I mean? What excites you so much about Yuri? Dude, don't you just want Yuri as a representative for our youth? <laughs> I also want Pereira as that, but I think we can juggle both. Who's with me on that? In a w I know it's weird to see it in that way, but I really do value a good role model as a champion. <laughs> I really do, dude. I think we need Yuri as champ. Like We need that look as champ and Pereira as champ and Aspinall as champ. Like We can have a really healthy set of role models as champions sometimes you know what i mean sometimes you got john jones and adesanya and it's like ugh, you know what i mean uh moral maxing exactly yeah it's like god this is who the kids are going to look up to as the most bad up this fruitcake and this wife beater you know what i mean so i i do like a good bit of healthy masculinity as the as the championship as the champs that's why i don't really like o'malley as champ everyone was like why are you hating o'malley he's a superstar he's He's fun. He interacts with you online. Like, why do you hate on O'Malley coming up? And I was like, dude, I'd rather Peter Yan. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd rather have Peter Yan as champ, dude. I really would. You glaze O'Malley. Now he's a champion, but I'm saying in terms of when he was a candidate to become champ, I was like, no, let me have Yan as champ, you know? Um, Yuri took too much damage in the Rakic fight. Maybe. I think he'll be more damaged than Pereira going into that. Someone said earlier, though, they were talking about the fact that Pereira mentioned that he was injured. And Yuri has been training. So, And also, Pereira originally said no. So that's what I heard as well. Allegedly, Pereira initially said no. And then they came back to him and he said yes. So, but no. He broke his toe, right? I think so, yeah. He has a foot injury. Yeah, he broke his uh, little toe. Not too bad, though. We broken toesies, he's fine, yeah, yeah. But that original saying no, maybe it was smart just to get the fight with more money. But um, it could have been like, oh, I don't know. Okay, maybe, yeah. You know what I mean? Probably a money thing, yeah. <sighs> Chat, can I just get back to race for a second? <laughs> <laughs> 
If I had a stand-up comedy bit, I would do this as a bit. This would be one of my bits, chat. <laughs> you know, reaction channels, black people doing reaction videos. Have you ever seen one of them get like hijacked by like a white audience, basically, and they're just stuck there <laughs> reacting to shit that they don't really want to react to? Dude, I always see these black reaction channels where one video I'll see him in recommending it, it'll be like they're reacting to like British football chants. And <laughs> like a couple months later, yeah, they'll be watching Thomas Sowell in there. Because it's just white people in the comments like, dude, you got to watch this. And then they're like stuck having to like appease their new audience, basically. And <laughs> watching like how the British fought to free the slaves <laughs> and all this. Real quick, it becomes that, dude. Real quick, it becomes that. You know, they get one thing about a football chant or one thing about UK culture that they watch. And then next thing they're looking, they're watching Thomas Sowell videos. <laughs> Oh, God. Whatever his Thomas Sowell, whatever his name is. Moicano would beat Gamrot. Um, he could. Tricky matchup for him, though. I could see Gamrot being a bit risky on the feet, even. You know, I actually think Gamrot's kind of underrated on the feet, chat, don't you? He doesn't look good because whenever people pressure him, he just shoots in. But I think at moments, I'm like, okay, there's something on the feet if he needs it, you know? He got dropped by Bennett. I know. I know. He pieced Fiziev. He... he was doing good against Fiziev. He was doing good against Fiziev. I know he's been dropped, chat. I know he has. But a lot of top-level fighters have been dropped, especially at lightweight. I'm not saying that, oh, you know what? You guys just take everything I say as, like, the most extreme version of it. You're reacting in chat like I've just said that he has the best striking at lightweight. I'm just saying his striking is not as bad as people think. He has a really nice one too. He's got decent kicks as well when he wants to. And he actually changes some good angles with his footwork at times as well. I just don't think he's that dangerous. And I don't think he's um, going to ever like destroy people with it. But a lot of people chat, I think if they start stuffing his takedowns, they might think they're completely safe. You know what I mean? But he's still kind of dangerous. He's still kind of dangerous. There's a good chance Gamrot flukes his way to the belt. Dude, seeing him stood next to Poirier, he's a huge dude for the division. I'd love to see him against Makashev, just grappling heavy. Because he's got crazy cardio. Insane cardio. Not the best take. Benny did better on the feet, and Armin mixed up to his extremely basic work at the time. I genuinely think DP could actually upgrade Gamrot to champ status. Am I wrong? Yeah, DP could help him. So you're saying about this about Gamrot doing not being awful on the feet. Put it this way, yeah. Yes or no, chat. If Gamrot is awful on the feet, Armin finishes him on the feet in that fight. Like you have to understand, I know he's being outstruck in fights, but he's fighting the best lightweights in the world. He stayed in there with Armin on the feet and landed his own good shots in the later rounds of that fight as well. If he's awful on the feet, Armin's just going to dust him up as soon as he stuffs a couple takedowns. Armin dusted up Benil within seconds of being on the feet with him. Gamrot did outbox Armin, but Armin outkicked him, which were the big things in that fight, the body kicks. I know he did not do bad against Fiziev in round one. Let me check what the Fiziev round one was, because I remember him not doing bad. Like, everyone was like, Fiziev wins, but that was a close round type thing. He might have even been up, but Gamrot landed his own. And he landed more in the second round before the TKO. But yeah, before the injury, sorry. What well, so good about Gamrot? I'm not saying that he's good. Um, people were just saying he's awful, and I'm saying he's not awful, is he? Because he's a top five lightweight. So that was the argument in terms of his striking. <laughs> 